In a previous video, I demonstrated wireless communication between two Arduinos using NRF24L01 transceivers. And in my last video, I demonstrated the acquisition of temperature and humidity readings from DHT11 sensor and the storage of these readings using AT24C04EE prompts. Combining these two technologies, this video demonstrates an Arduino-based wireless data acquisition and storage system. This is the transmitter circuit of the data acquisition system. We have the DHT22 sensor connected to the Arduino through pin D2 and we have the NRF24L1 transceiver connected to its adapter and the adapter is connected to the Arduino using SPI connection. The NRF24L01 and its adapter are fully explained in my previous video where the link to the video is provided in the video description. This is the receiver circuit of the data acquisition and storage system. We have the RF uh, uh, receiver module interfaced with the Arduino using SPI and we have two EE proms of type AT24C04 interfaced with the Arduino using I squared C connection and we have two push button one connected to pin D2 and the other connected to pin D3. This is the complete circuit diagram of the system the transmitter will continuously transmit every two seconds the temperature and humidity readings from the DHT22 sensor over the RF wireless channel. On the receiver side, we press the right button and through the serial monitor will be asked to input the number of samples to acquire, let's say 10. So 10 temperature readings will be stored on the first EEPROM and 10 humidity readings will be stored on the second EEPROM. And then we'll press the read button to display the contents of EEPROM 1 and EEPROM 2 on the serial monitor. And now for a quick demonstration, we press the right button and enter the number of samples, let's say 5. Every 2 seconds, temperature and humidity values are stored in the EEPROMs. Next, we press the read button and uh, display the temperature and humidity value stored in the two EE prompts. This is the C++ sketch for the transmitter. Inside the loop function, we get the temperature from the DHT22 sensor and store it in the first element of this array. And then we get the humidity and store it in the second element of the array. And then we transmit the temperature and humidity via the NRF uh, module and we repeat the process every two milliseconds we acquire and transmit the temperature and humidity. This is the receiver sketch and within the loop function we continuously monitor the status of uh, the uh, write and read uh, push button so if we press the write button then function write data will be called and executed and if we press the read button then the read data function will be called and executed. Inside function write data the user will be requested to input the number of samples to acquire and once the number is input this for loop will be executed where the uh, values of temperature and humidity will be acquired from the uh, radio frequency module receiver and then the temperature will be written to EEPROM1 and the humidity will be written to EEPROM2. When we press the read push button this function will be called and executed and through this uh, for loop the contents of uh, the EEPROM1 uh, the temperature values will be extracted and displayed on the serial monitor and in a similar way using this for loop the the humidity values from EEPROM2 will be extracted and displayed on the serial monitor. For a more detailed explanation of the code, please refer to my previous videos. A link to those videos will be provided in the video description. In conclusion, 
This video has presented a simple wireless communication system for sensor data acquisition and storage. More applications will be demonstrated in future videos. Thank you for watching.